equations with pronumerals on both sides. So when we have pronumerals on both sides, it means both sides of the equal sign. So something like this, where we have 3x equals 2x plus 6. We haven't seen anything like this yet, where we've got a term with a pronumeral on one side of the equal sign and a term with a pronumeral on the other side of the equal sign. And to solve an equation like this, we need to bring the pronumeral terms together. And to make things easier, it's easier to look at which term is smaller and bring that one to the other side. So out of 3x and 2x, which one's smaller? So is it 3x or 2x? Well, it has to be 2x because 2 is smaller than 3. So 2x is the one we want to move because it's smaller. It just makes things easier. Now, in order to move it, we just have to look. Is it positive or negative? Because it has no sign in front of it, it's positive. So we do the opposite. So we're going to have to subtract 2x from both sides. So when we do that, 2x minus 2x is 0, and that makes it go away. And that's what we want, because we want to bring our pronumeral terms together. Equals under equals, 3x minus 2x just leaves us 1x, which is just x, and then this side just leaves us with 6. And we've actually solved the equation straight away there, telling us that x equals 6. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Let's look at 3 plus 4x equals 5x. So which is smaller, 4x or 5x? Well, that would be 4x. So 4x is the term we want to move. And is it positive or negative? Well, it's positive because there's a positive in front of it. So we're going to have to do the opposite of plusing 4x, which is minusing 4x. So we'll do that to both sides. Because 4x minus 4x is 0, equals under equals, and we're left with 3 equals 5x minus 4x is 1x, or just x, and we get 3 equals x. Now, in an equation, we can always switch the left and right hand sides at any time. So I can actually rewrite this as x equals 3. Just like at the beginning, I could have swapped the left and the right hand side, I could have said the 5x actually equaled 3 plus 4x. So remember, in an equation, you can always swap the left and right side at any time. All right, another one. 6x plus 2 equals 4x plus 8. So we need to bring those pronumerals together because they're on different sides of the equation. I like doing the smaller one. So out of 6x and 4x, 4x is smaller, it's positive. So we're going to need a minus 4x from both sides. And 4x minus 4x is going to be 0. Then we've got 6x minus 4x, which is 2x. We've got plus 2, haven't done anything with that 2. And we've got the 8. And now we've just got a two-step equation to solve. So we need to get rid of the plus 2, because it's a number on its own, so we're going to minus 2 from both sides, because 2 minus 2 is going to be 0, equals under equals, we're left with the 2x, 8 minus 2 is 6, we just need to get rid of the 2 in front of the x, means 2 times x, so we're going to do the opposite, dividing by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and we're just left with x equals 3. Is our final answer. All right, last example. Looking at minus 3x plus 1 equals 2x minus 9. Now, what's smaller, minus 3x or 2x? Well, even though the number 2 is smaller than the number 3, remember, this is negative 3. This one's positive 2. And negative 3 is smaller then positive 2. Think about your number line. So negative 3 is the one we want to move. And because it's negative, we need to do the opposite to move it. So we're going to have to plus 3x to both sides. So we're going to plus 3x here, plus 3x here, because minus 3x plus 3x is 0. 
and we're just left with one on that side. Don't have to write the plus because it's by itself. 2x plus 3x is 5x, and we've got the minus 9 still. I can now have a two-step equation I need to solve, so I want to get rid of the minus 9 by plusing 9 to both sides. A equals under equals. 1 plus 9 is 10. Still got the 5x, and minus 9 plus 9 is 0. Just need to get rid of the 5 now. 5 times x, the opposite of times in by 5, is dividing by 5. So I'm going to do that to both sides. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I'm just left with 1x or x, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. I'm just tidy that up a little bit by swapping them, saying x equals 2. Mm -hmm.